Right, welcome to 177 Entertainment. My name is Niff. We're back here for the non-refundable podcast. I'm joined once again by Jay, aka Samurai Gopher. Hey. Once again, he waves at me, even though <laughs> this is an audio podcast. Um, so yeah, we're back again for another non-refundable co- podcast. Um, I, always, I always call it a podcast. I'm just going to change it to the change non- it. Make it a podcast to the non-refundable podcast. Oh. Um, so yeah, this is a non-refundable podcast. This, uh, as always, I'll start off with our legal disclaimer just to make sure everyone is aware of what to expect over the next hour and something, <laughs> however long it may be. Uh, how long it is? Yeah, it's very sort of loose as to how long this thing is. So, uh, we here at 177 Entertainment make no promises that what you're about to listen to will contribute to your life in any way. There is a high chance that you're about to hear is totally inaccurate and all the views expressed within are solely of the parties involved and do not represent 177 Entertainment's view on politics, celebrities, news, facts or opinions on the world in general. We'd also like to remind you that this is a satirical podcast with mild sarcasm and the occasional joke. Those of a serious disposition or lack of understanding when it comes to the attempts of comedy may not want to turn off now. Please listen responsibly. Sorted. So that's that Boom. legal bit out of the way. Uh, you had a you thing to make noise from your face hole about again. Should we start with the thing from my face hole? Did you want to start think. with your face hole or I my face hole? I can start with my face hole. We'll start I with your face mind. hole. All right. So the thing that I have is just something that I'm a little bit excited about. Uh, I saw the teaser that they've just done mm-hmm. for uh, Thor Ragnarok. So obviously yep. anyone that's listened previously may be aware that I'm a big geek. Niff's a big geek. We're both big geeks. <laughs> Lies, sir. Lies and slander. Lies. No, we're both totally sporty, yo. I did a football once. Oh, a bit hot. Yeah. There you go. Understandable. Um, Sound-wise. Ah. Um, so, yeah. Does. So, Thor Ragnarok, the teaser came out. Now, there are two points to the thing from my face hole around here. One. Yeah, it cools your nose. Yeah. One, helps two. with the breathing when the mouth's busy. Yeah. Um, so. Ladies. Arr, the first then, thing. He's not picky. I'm, I'm really not. In inanimate objects. Well. Anyway, Ragnarok. <laughs> Thor Ragnarok. So, One. And this is the thing that pisses me off. Not about Thor Ragnarok, but just about uh, cinema in general, I guess. Mm-hmm. Which is that Thor Ragnarok comes out whenever it comes out. I forget the date. Not now. It's a something of something. Exactly. Yeah. Between now and then, we will have approximately 50,000 teasers and 1 million trailers. Oh, yeah. You'll see 40% just, of the film. Exactly. And before like, the film's actually that out. That yeah. really bothers me. Particularly nowadays, a lot of films genuinely in their trailers are like, here are all the best bits of the film. This is why you should go see it. We kind of suggest you... Don't bother seeing it because nothing else will top what you've seen here. Yes. Do you want to watch in the this? Day, uh, like, do you want to watch this really small? You, like on YouTube, 1080p. Do you want to go watch it at a cinema in full Blu-ray, yeah. like full cinema quality? You know you want to. You, you do. It's the same scenes, but yeah, just same think, scenes. There'll be some stuff in the middle that you don't care about. Yeah. But these There'll bits. There'll be some plot at some point, yeah. and then boom, crash. Back in hammers. the day, they were much more sparse with what they gave out in the in the trailers yeah. and that was the way to do it the idea the is the trailer was to, to tease exactly yeah. it's just meant you go that looks interesting I better go spend money on it yeah but no now it's just like here's everything that will amuse you or entertain you however that being said the Thor Ragnarok teaser looks amazing but it's done by I forget his name but it's done by the same guy who did um, the vampire film um, from the shadows I think it's called Okay. It's a. I seen from it's the shadows, a, it's either an Australian. It might not be called from the shadows. I will Google. I will IMDb. We'll check second. that at some point. Um, but I believe it's. I watched it not that long ago. Um, I've only watched it once. Yeah. But it's about. It's either Australian or New Zealand. So I always get their accents confused. But Similar. it's about a sort of a satirical look at the life of a modern vampire mm. in Australia. I think it is from the shadows. Yeah. I pretty, uh, rings about. I haven't it's, seen it's it. But. Really funny. You've got someone yeah. who's kind of like a Nosferatu kind of mm-hmm. vampire who's been around since 18 whatever. Yeah. So, and, it, and then you've got sort of this, you've got a modern hoodie vampire. <laughs> and there's, there's just scenes in it where they're, they're like at a nightclub mm-hmm. and he's going, no, no, you have to invite me in. He's like, no, no, just like, we go, like this, this is the door, go through it. He's like, no, no, you have, you have to invite me in. I can't just... <laughs> can't just go I in, you have just, to... <sighs> yeah, it's, it sort of takes all of the, the general vampire tropes and applies them to modern living and yeah. how, about how inconvenient it would be. <laughs> it would be inconvenient. But yeah, and he, he's the same one. Obviously, all the trailers that have come out about it have been directed by him as well, or at mm-hmm. least in the same vein, because you've got the one like what Thor was doing during uh, yeah, Civil like all War. the in between bits. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Thor with his roommate. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it looks like they've injected a decent amount of comedy into it, like. A friend of mine was speaking about it. He said, as far as he's aware, it's essentially a road trip between Thor and Hulk. Yeah, it's a so bromance. It's, it's a buddy comedy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and yeah. it really genuinely does look like it's that, and I'm so pleased. Yeah. No, it looks that's, amazing. That's how I've been told. It's like, people who pay more attention to me. Uh, the, the, sorry, pay more attention than me to mm. this sort of stuff. I, I completely boycott all trailers. 
Yeah. I see posters. I think of Thor coming this day. I'm like, all right, cool. Film's coming out. Mm-hmm. I was like, I've, I've so, still so far for the, the new Star Wars runs. Yeah. Never seen a trailer about them, ever. Fair. The only, I, well, I've never seen a full trailer. The only mm. bits of the trailer I've seen are the unskippable parts of YouTube. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, you will I've, watch I've seen this. the first five seconds of the Rogue One trailers, and I've seen the first five seconds do you not of like episode seven ones. Put your fingers in your ears and close your eyes. And- no, I had to do that once when I was at uh, the cinema watching Monuments Men. Yes. And I, I was like, I'm, what did I had, you think of I had, Monuments Men? It's really good. I really liked yeah, it. Okay. It was really good. Um, I was a bit annoyed because it was on Valentine's Day. It was on Valentine's Day, and the, the person I was with at the time, we wanted to go watch Lego Movie, but the Cimmerian was a very small Odeon, and it didn't have Lego Movie on, oh. so we really annoyed. Yeah. But Monuments Men was still, Monuments Men was still really good. Yeah. It just wasn't what we went out to go watch. No, right? no. No, I seem to remember, I've only seen it once. I seem to remember enjoying it, but do you think, I did think it was a bit odd. It's a very niche film. Mm. Like, it's, it's, not, it's not a war film. No. It's not. But I mean, it's worth it's a kind watch. Of, yeah, it's like a drama comedy, kind of. But a dramedy. Yeah, but it's a type of camel, I think. A camel. I think it's a camel. Dramedy. Dram. Yeah, dramedy. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's it was a good film. Um, I have really, I've I've seen it on like sort of Prime to to buy. I've mm-hmm. never wanted to buy it to watch it again. But yeah. if it comes on like Prime Instant Video, then I'll you'll like, probably no, watch I'll it. Give it a watch. Mm. That's fair. Um, but yes, yeah, I forgot what we were talking about originally. Now, oh, the Star uh, Wars race. Yeah, so I was watching Monuments Men, and I was just sitting there. Obviously, I'd, I'd hadn't seen more than the first five seconds of uh, this was episode seven at the time, yeah. and it's the one where Ray sort of comes in through like it's the really oh, yeah, big yeah. open expanse and she slides down through what is you find out to be an uh, Imperial Star Destroyer. Yes, on yeah. on Tatooine uh, two. J- j- Jabba? Sure. No, Jabra. No, Jabra. No, no, that's a headset. That's Jabba's the guy. I can't remember what it's called. Um. The yeah. The dat- uh, Tatooine two point oh. Yeah. Sandy McSandy Sphere. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That one. Yeah. Um. And I was just sitting there going, I've got a bad feeling about this. And then it sort of moved on a little bit more. And then I saw it panned out to the Star Destroyer. Immediately, I closed my eyes with my finger on my ears <laughs> and got the person I was with to tap me on the shoulder when it ended. Just <laughs> like, I'm not watching this. I do not want to know anything about this goddamn Don't film. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Yeah, I do not want to know anything about this goddamn film. All I know, all I need to know about it is it's a Star Wars film. That's all I want to know about it. Don't care about the rest of it. Um, but yeah, I still, I just somehow managed to avoid a lot of those kind of trailers and stuff. And, it's, uh, and it that's makes, probably for the best. Yeah, I mean, I can't say I've lost, and I don't. Trailers never add to films. A lot, no. of, a lot of times, the trailers come out with scenes that end up being cut anyway. Yeah. So it's like, oh, that scene was cool. That wasn't in the film. Hmm, so kind of confusing. Yeah. I'm gonna go watch the trailer again. It was better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna stitch all the trailers together for an hour and a half, and mm-hmm. hopefully that'll make a better film. Well, with well, Suicide seven, Squad it might have done. What? Or Suicide Squad. No, episode, yeah. episode seven was all right. It was all right. It was a Star. It was a cookie cut Star Wars film. It was episode four point one. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I mean, it wasn't a bad Star Wars film, it just wasn't a good one. No, I guess it was just bad because of that. Yeah. Because I'd seen it all before. Yeah, I know. I mean, but, I went... Know, with better characters. Because I went and w- I watched it with you, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, we yeah. All, yeah, yeah, we watched it together. I watched it on launch night with my friend Harry and John, who mm-hmm. will probably be listening to this because I'll probably make them. Hello. Seems fair. Yeah. Hi, guys. Uh, Harry is Dark Shadowfang on YouTube, I believe, and John is Shot by P90 on Instagram. Yes. They're the two mediums of social media I think they care about. So Yeah, that sounds... You're welcome right. for the shout-outs. Um, to yourselves. No one else is listening to this thing, yeah. apart from maybe the one person in France who I apparently gathered. Florida. Flor- uh, Florida hadn't, didn't listen to the last one. Oh, listened to the... we, s- we said so many nice things about I know, Florida. I know. If someone can find that person in Florida... Well, then... screw you, Florida. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we, I went and watched it on launch night, like first showing at midnight, because, mm-hmm. yeah, as it, you may glean from various conversations now and in the future, that I'm quite a nerd. Yeah. Uh, although I, st- I still prefer the term gamer. Because nerds imply you generally have quite a well-paid job and are generally a generally I think smart. Sort of the difference, so nerd, I think, tends to be more uh, academically astute, whereas yeah. geek is more passionate about cosplay and Star Wars and, and gaming. Hentai. And I didn't say hentai. I mean, but hentai, but not hentai. But hentai, but, but not hentai. hentai. But but, man- but uh, anime and manga. Yeah, and then when Particularly no one else is tentacles, and then when no one else is about. <laughs> Hentai. Hentai, yeah. yeah. So I go with the gamer because all of my stuff is generally picked up from video games and yes. then I like the other nerdy stuff on the on the fringes. Yeah. But I don't go massively mm. deep into... Fringe. Fringe geek. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a gamer who dips his toe into geekiness every once in a while. <laughs> um, Whereas I think I'm probably the other way around. I'm a geek that 
dips yeah. his toe into gaming. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I play... I don't really play that many games that much, to be honest, anymore, apart from the ones I actually record. That's pretty much all day. I've still... I bought Mass Effect. got it on the day of launch. I've Excellent. still done the prologue. I've not done it anymore. I've not had time to turn it back on and play it. Good work. I'm also waiting for the patch to fix the herpaderp animations that are happening, because yeah. there are quite a lot of... Herpaderps. Yeah, sort of really weird expressions going on and things. I mean... Yeah. There's been I've seen a lot of people going, oh, the graphics in the new Mass Effect are shit, and they've done cross comparisons with other Mass Effects. Yeah. Which I'm pretty sure are on PC with texture packs, which is a bit of a bit cheeky. Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, it looks worse than Mass Effect One. I mean, Mass Effect One, I've upscaled it to 4K texture yeah. packs, and uh, I've got it running on a, a two uh, Nvidia 1080s. But you know, it's but still, other than that, yeah. it's still Mass Effect One. Yeah, yeah, it's still Mass Effect One. It's still shit. It still came out. Like yeah, and this is it on a PS- PlayStation ago, it was. PlayStation Four, a launch PlayStation Four on the original <laughs> chipset that's been on for yeah forever. Um, I those comparison videos are generally, generally load of crock. But yeah. Um, yeah, I just haven't had time to pick it up. There's a new Overwatch thing that I'm going to play and record at some point. Um, there's mm-hmm. a short one of those sort of what do they call them. It's the Blizzard things. We we've played World of Warcraft long enough, you know. This is on for a certain like week and do oh, things. Oh, the seasonal events. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking yeah. for. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there was one around the Chinese New Year. Yeah. Um, which is quite fun. Um, and then there's there's some other one I haven't looked at it though. So I'll be playing that at some point. Other than that, I don't really play that many games really. No, Forza. I don't. I still got... play Final Fantasy, uh, Realm Reborn. That's with uh, is that with G and everyone with, with the beaters, yeah. Yeah. But that's to be honest, Kane and, Kane and D. Kane and D and Beaters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Most search, search that on YouTube and you'll find the channels. Yeah, because Kane and D is the only one of us that seems to have time to read. Yeah, do anything. Do his own. Do his own. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We just come on and mess up his videos by chatting crap in the background, <laughs> mostly. Yeah, and cheering awkwardly with our characters. Yeah, I've watched yeah. a few of the videos and like they're just they're just in the background doing yeah, things, doing whatever we fancy, yeah, like doing things, dancing or whatever. Um, so anyway. Thought looks yeah. pretty good. <laughs> Just to round drag about that back. That's really all I had to say from my face thing. I was quite excited because Thor actually looks really good. Looks like they've taken a bit of a leaf out of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. It's like, we- oh, you know, we can make an action film that's entertaining as well. Mm. Like, oh, oh, we can. Yeah. How very interesting. Let's do that. Yeah, no, it looks, it's one of the few Marvel ones that I'm actually looking forward to. Yeah. I mean, I watch all of them because they are, in their worst form, they are just hour and a half of enjoyable nothingness yeah exactly um, all growing now to two and a half hours of enjoyable nothingness yeah. like they don't really impart a message or anything on like that no no they're not going to change your life but they will kill that time yeah, pleasantly it's, it's, a, it's a good killer like if yeah. I'm not doing that I'd be sat at home staring at a painted wall or something yeah um, but yeah no I've, I quite like the look of, of that one uh, I did have I think uh, I have one general thing I want to say from my face hole mm-hmm. oh yes we got some early look at the Xbox Scorpio Specs. So this is Project Scorpio, the Super this, Xbox One. So this is a, another because obviously we had the Xbox One. Yeah. Then we had the Xbox Ones. S. Yeah. Yeah, the Xbox Ones. Xbox Ones. Um. So now we've got the Xbox One Scorpio. Yeah. So the One S is was basically like yeah we've it turned, was the slimmer, slightly tweaked. It was mainly right? to make it smaller. Yeah. Like, to remo- like cut down the form factor. Yeah. They put in the and bump it um, a little bit. Uh, 4K. But it, it, they only compatibility add, as well, didn't they? Uh, on certain, yeah, certain yeah. things were like 4K upscale. No, yeah. I don't think it was, was it 4K? I yeah, it's 4K so. 30, I think it was. Certain games could run oh, okay. at 4K yeah. 30. Yeah. Um, and more games would run at 1080, 60. Yeah. Um, so it's, it was just tweaked. It was yeah. Just, it was just like every console does. They like like 360 and 360 Elite. Exactly. It, yeah, yeah, it was just a slightly prettier But it model. wasn't wasn't that much more of it like it wasn't really a reason to get rid of your xbox no because i haven't yeah i've still got my xbox one it's more a thing of like you can have this we'll make the original xbox cheaper but mm-hmm. if you do want a slightly better machine there's this and it's not that much more expensive yeah. although it turns out in the xbox ones mm-hmm. you don't get a headset that's well yeah but have you heard the people who use on xbox live it's a good thing well yeah but it's not for my mate who bought one so he could play games with us and didn't get a headset yeah, but you can use we spent a standard good, earphones. We spent a good two... He needed a mic. He didn't have one. Uh, but, um, from your phone. He's not a gamer. From your phone. Well, no, we, we spent mm. literally like three or four weeks uh, Facebook Messenger calling 
That's, I mean, he could have gone to the shop in that time, surely. He could have. You'd could have, have thought gone, that, wouldn't you? Have, yeah. He could have gone to game. At this yeah. point, that's just him being facetious. Yeah, no, it took him about a month and a half in the, mm. to eventually get it. And for that time, we were calling each other on Facebook Messenger. I mean, yeah, so there's me sat on my sofa with my controller yeah. next to my phone plugged in because obviously Facebook Messenger takes all the battery. Yeah. Doing, hosting a conference call for like four people. So um, I'm 98% sure that you can just buy use your standard hands-free kits from your phone into the bottom of an Xbox uh, One controller. I don't. Because that's what I do on my PlayStation. You can. I think that I thought on the on Hang the on. One S controllers you can. Oh, the it, One S maybe. You definitely can't on the One. No, the original one. But my my uh, Xbox One Elite controller has a three and a half mil jack now, rather than the proprietary one. Uh. And I'm pretty sure they've changed that on the One S's as well. They should. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> frankly. Only, I think it's only on the original bones that you can't. Yeah, I've got a weird little yeah, not got, even USB. The, it's a crazy yeah, thing. proprietary thing with the. Chat or they should have a USB thing. thing so you can use any USB headset. Yeah, yeah. Or like most for, gamers do. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's um, but they they do have the micro the USB, but it's just at the front to charge it, yeah, which they don't tell you about. No. Um, but it's how it connects mine to my PC. But yeah, the Xbox Scorpio is actually yeah. beefing it up. Okay. I, I, well, it seems to be beefing it up at a standard amount. Um, does that mean that you won't be able to play Scorpio games on an Xbox One? No. They have said that every single currently released... So like the PlayStation Pro, when it launched, there was only certain games that would run 4K on the PS Pro, and, and nothing else would really improve. Right. Um, this one, apparently, um, it's an improvement. All of the... It'll have some form of, I assume... Um, what do you call it? Upscaling. Implied. Magic. Yeah, it would. It would do some. There'll be some form of software upscaling involved with it. Um, no, I'm just making. You're actually not making any noise doing that at all. That's impressive. Thanks. Oh, I'm no. like a ninja. I was well, Jay, moving my microphone stand by. Yeah, the way well, it's, the, it's, I'm yeah. more impressed at these like 20p shock. I mean, the whole kit cost me like 30 quid per microphone. And the, the, so what I assume would be like 20p shock mics are actually working really well. Yeah. So yeah, they seem to be all right, don't they? Yeah, I'm impressed with my frugal buying from Amazon. Um, <laughs> so yeah, the, the PS. 4 Pro came out and it was basically like an Xbox One S. Yeah. It just it, it didn't really do much. Sure. Um the now this this Scorpio is actually beefing up a fair amount so it's saying that it's going to improve all the current Xbox One titles as well as all the 360 backward compatibility titles as well. Okay. So see Xbox they're doing their uh staged release of back compat games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones that aren't getting um like anniversary editions or yes the ones that aren't being the the, the horses that aren't being flogged for more money yeah. we can't back with comp this one because we're releasing it next month for yeah. a new game yeah mysteriously all yeah. these games crying out for and you go oh yeah make this one back with some me oh and then you find out like three weeks later oh they're just actually making a, an anniversary yeah. edition anniversary it, edition it costs four times what it should yeah it's the same game yeah you remember that game you bought for all that time like pre-owned about six years ago that cost you like five pound yeah you can buy a new copy of that with upscale textures for 50 quid if you want yeah enjoy yeah um, but yeah, that, I thought that was quite impressive. Considering the, the when the PS Pro launched, it was only certain, only the new titles that you'd get the extra stuff with. Yeah. Um, although apparently, um, for fairness, the PlayStation Four Pro, I believe, is getting something called Boost Mode, Ooh. which I believe should be renamed Beast Mode. Yeah. Um, but it, which is apparently works um, on the rest of them. Right. Is, okay. so, so it's the same thing. Yeah. Basically. There's there's going to be some kind of software way of again upscaling current titles. Mm-hmm. Um, it is rumored to have a eight core, two point three gigahertz processor, mm-hmm. which is uh, point two, point zero two, point two quicker than the PS4. Yeah, um, suck it, PS4. And point five quicker than the, the Xbox One S, which is actually quite a substantial size difference yeah. for. Because that's two point three. Mm. That's a large percentage increase on the processor yeah, power yeah. over that processor, which would be good. Um, is getting a better graphics card. The, the, uh, lots of numbers with the graphics cards. I didn't bother putting Ooh, them in. Numbers. Yeah, there's more numbers, so it's better. Yes. Yeah. So higher the, numbers, better. Yeah. The, the one has nine hundred and something numbers. The other one has eleven hundred and something Ooh. numbers. So uh, more numbers. Yeah. I, my rudimentary math makes up more than the ten percent increase, which yep. is substantial. Uh, rumored price point: four hundred pounds, which is currently five fifty pound more than the PlayStation Pro. Uh, yeah. Which, considering the power difference. It's pretty good for Microsoft, yeah. but again, there is going to be 
apparently another PlayStation coming soon to rival yeah. the, the Super Xbox. And six months after they released the Xbox One S Scorpio, yeah, yeah, they'll exactly. drop the price. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's coming out at £200 more than the Xbox One S. Yeah. Which actually makes the Xbox One S at £200 now a very good buy. Yes, yeah, it does, yeah. yeah. I didn't I didn't realise it got that cheap, considering I, trade, I sold a MacBook Pro for my Xbox <laughs> when, it, when it came out and then didn't play it for months. Yeah. Um, and it still sits on my shelf gathering. Mine's up. currently a glorified Netflix machine. Uh, I have that bit on my telly. Yeah, uh, so do I actually. But although, it's going a bit funny, so it's my backup. In fact, yeah, it's a backup Netflix <laughs> machine. It's um, it shouldn't be going new, funny on your new one. No, I th- it's a you software it. issue. All oh, right, yeah, because my mine's a Sony dedicated app, and yeah, that, is, is mine's yours, a Samsung dedicated app. Is yours but, crashing every time we try and load something? Because that's what mine's doing. It so when I log into it yeah. and it comes up with the, the profiles, mm-hmm. you then can't select a profile. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, mine's like it lets you log can't in and get past that. It lets me log into John's profile because I don't own one. Yeah. Um, cheers, John. Um, <laughs> so it lets me log into my profile on John's account. And I was just, every once in a while, I'll just select something. It will start buffering. It will just yeah. go back. It will just turn off the Netflix app, which I, nope. Yeah. I'm like, oh. Yeah, I'll no, mine won't thing. let me go beyond the profile login thing. Uh, and then occasionally it will just go, oh, actually, no, you can today. <laughs> but for no real reason. Nothing's no, it's, changed. Yeah, it's, it's just a... Yeah. Uh, just a bit temperamental. Yeah, it's just a you, you just have a a vindictive yeah. TV basically. Um, but yeah, I mean, I record Forza on mine currently. There are a few games coming out. I think I will probably pick up on Xbox. Um, I play a bit of uh, Diablo three on my Xbox because again, I play it with my mates. Mm. But to be fair, I completed the campaign on PC. I believe you mean Compagni. Compagni, mm. um, the Camper Igna, um, the Champagne, the champ. I completed Champagne. On the PC, mm-hmm. uh, but obviously that doesn't carry over to the Xbox. No, it doesn't. Even Despite though, the yeah. fact that my Blizzard account is, is linked. linked, but yep. it still doesn't. No. Uh, so now I'm having to go through and complete it again. And I'll be honest, it's not that much fun the second time <laughs> round. Um, it's a bit like, well, I don't care. I was a, I was a massive Diablo 2 fan. Yeah. Like, again, the two people who listened to this, being Harry and John, yeah. um, we played hundreds of hours of Diablo mm-hmm. 2. Uh, one of the best games ever made in my opinion it was so good we had uh, I think we had pretty much a full realm worth of players nice every day uh, just the people we played it with at school Mm -hmm. Um, got Diablo 3 was horrifically disappointed with it Um, I was like this is kind of the same but not and I I I went through every single stage once Mm-hmm. Stop playing. Never went back to do it on hell. Never went back to yeah. do it on hard or anything. Or else. anything else. Did it on normal. Like, that's sat done. Done. Yeah. Uh, obviously, this is me. I bought the limited collector's edition. Obviously. Um, got to have that big white box. Yep. Um, is it the white box on the original one? Yes, it is the white. And then sure. I got the Reaper of Souls expansion, which yeah. obviously, being me, I got in the collector's edition. Obviously. I did the new realm on that, and then probably stopped playing again. Yeah. So it's a hundred pounds worth of Diablo sat on my shelf, which I've got maybe twenty five hours worth of playtime out. It's very difficult to play it on my own. I enjoy playing it when we all get together and play together, but yeah. other than that, and to be honest, like because they've they've had Diablo three on the Xbox since DOT. Yeah. So they've all completed the co- campaign. And they're all. Have uh, they done the super hardcore, super happy fun time mode probably, trial thing? Probably. They're Whatever all the... like super geared, super nails, super amazing. Every so often I see, oh, the new season of the super yeah. hardcore running time challenge. Something like there's a, yeah. like 19 words for yeah. this version of Diablo they're currently they doing. They probably do that. Yeah. So, so we all get on and they're like, hey, Jay, we're going to make the game t- challenging for us. So, okay. So hold on. Which means you can't. <laughs> Do anything. When stand. we enter a map, can you please stand completely still oh. at the entrance yeah. and enjoy all the free XP and loot? So, <laughs> it's oh, a real fun okay. way to play. A, a real fun way to play a game. Could so. we not all start characters together and level up normally? No. Oh, okay. Why, why, why would we do that? I've got a supercharged character yeah, exactly. over here. I can get you to seventy in like half an hour. Like, yeah, I know. Yeah, but I want to get myself to seventy yeah, in like a and few it's weeks. Super dull. <laughs> like so, it takes a bit longer than half an hour. Effectively, and they all insist that we play hardcore. So yeah. if they miss a mob. And it finds me, I die. And you have to start a new character right Instantly. Again. Like, yeah. I have no chance. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I've actually lost about four characters that way. And after a while, it's just like, I just don't want to do this anymore. Oh, miserable. Um, but when we all play together, it is fun. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, just to like on how you play Diablo, I would say you're currently playing the Diablo interactive wallpaper. Yes, I genuinely am. Yeah. Where just occasionally I open a menu screen and adjust some stats, and that's yeah. it, really. You look like, at the... You've got a new skill. Enjoy not using it. Oh, right. I just cool. kind of level that right. one up there. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know why Diablo three is not worlds away from Diablo two. Yeah, 
I just never found it as enjoyable. Just didn't. I don't know didn't why. Didn't have that original magic, I guess. No, I mean, I played the Marvel Heroes, which is free on Steam. Yep. Designed by the same person who did Diablo 2. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. I love that game. Yep. But, but not- it's, it is arbitrary because it's a free to play with microtransactions <laughs> and it's like there is that hinge yeah, of. Yeah, I think yeah, I played it for a little it. bit. So, like, you can choose a character to play as. But only one or two. Yeah, and the they, rest there's one or, t- one or two free characters, and I believe there's a character rotation. And then y- you can unlock the other characters by playing the game, but it's quite rare. <laughs> yes. Or you can buy them. Yeah, that you get rewards which may get your character. Um, yeah, that's once, it. Once every seven. So you have to years. be like super specific about what character you choose at the beginning. I believe there's some kind of in-game currency where you can buy, but it. The, the, yeah, the, I think it's really. Ex- you like yeah, you the, get a lot the of it. time input versus like the, the yeah, exchange yeah. rate of time to money is or. Bad. Quest. Yeah, it's yeah. not great. Yeah, uh, I played it for quite a while and enjoyed. Problem was, like, I played Deadpool, obviously, obviously and really enjoyed. Yeah. He's great fun. Yeah, and then I played something else and he was great fun. Then I used another email account to play to play different characters. Mm-hmm. I was like, I actually kind of want to play all four of these characters, but can't. Yeah, and that just frustrated me. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's the only, like the business model let that game down. The, yeah, game wise, it, to me, it felt it's more good like fun. it felt more Diablo than Diablo three did. Yeah, again, I played it with a few of my friends, and it was just really good fun. Yeah, I did the same. I, we logged on three or four of us just run around mm. killing things. Yeah, some form of bad guy things. conglomerate Stuff. thing. Yeah, in certain areas, I think I played Daredevil. Maybe I think that was one. Of oh the yeah, Daredevil was quite good fun actually. Yeah, um, I looked at his move set. It looked quite mm. fun because I like sort of melee. Yeah. characters and stuff so he seemed quite fun but that, I mean I played that years ago and there, there are so many updates every time something new Marvel comes out it yeah, gets an update in Marvel Heroes like Galaxy Guardians of the Galaxy characters yeah. are now in it oh good obviously I, I got a thing from Steve saying oh the new Doctor Strange is available yeah. like, oh okay cool cheers thanks very much thanks for that um, yeah because it's on my playlist because I have played it like, yeah I, yeah. Steam I haven't played it in like two years fuck yeah, off come on Steam look at the dates look yeah. at the dates um I forgot what my original topic was. It was just talking about Xbox, wasn't it? Yes. Um, Scorpio. One of the Scorpio. things I, I do love doing, if anyone who... Fucking iPhone, stop telling me to update. Um, anyone, we when we did play Diablo 2, we all had just kind of various roles. Mm. Um, we had one of my mates, um, Smeg, whose name was Elliot, but we just called him Smeg because the Harvey Grammar School. Yeah. Um, and he he was play he played a sorceress I believe the character class was the, sure. the mage person magic heat yeah yeah um and he had he had many different ones they were all expecting different because you could have I think eight characters in that one maybe five it's sure. five it's always some weird I think it's five um he had I think four three wizards or sorceresses or whatever they mm-hmm. are one in each uh, class spec yeah um one of his other games was Moomin so he had psycho human and Zoomin. Anyone who's a System of Down fan is uh, obviously that. Uh, yep. We'll get that reference. Um, which Psycho was fire. Uh, fu- no, Fumin was fire. Psycho was ice. And Zoomin was electric because you had teleport. So Zoomin Moomin. Makes sense. He, he just could be called. His sorceress was Zoomin Moomin and just flying about all over. So he'd yep. be the one to run the dungeons. Yeah. So he would just teleport through every single goddamn dungeon, get yep. us to the boss fight, kill the boss in 30 seconds of yep. manic right clicking. <laughs> yeah. Left, left and right clicking because you had two skills. Yeah. Um, just, just spamming the shit out of those mouse buttons. Uh, uh, and then you do that, and then someone will make a, t- a scroll of town port. You go home, you do the next one. And yeah. You'd leave that instance, open up a new one, do bail run. Yeah. Um, uh, but my one was I was a um, basically a shyster. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would. Basically, so you didn't do anything. <laughs> well, no, I was I was a trader basically. Right. Like if you were to describe describe my role, it was a trader. Yeah. I would spend probably about an hour or two an evening jumping between different trade rooms. Mm-hmm. I was effectively a broker. <laughs> right. So I would go into a trade room from a guy who was after a specific shield. Yeah. I go. Okay. Cool. What would you take? For, what would you? What would? Uh, what would you give me for that shield? Right. Oh, I'm I'm after this. I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, do you have this? Yes. All right, cool. I need that for someone. So people will give me orders. Yeah. So I'd have to get the the one that comes to mind is the thing of Tal Russia, which is I, I think Sorceress's special set sure? armor yeah. thing that gives you bonuses. Uh, I remember mine. It was the Reign of the Immortal King because I was mm-hmm. barbarian and it made me glowy and it was <laughs> it was awesome. Um, and my hat had wings. Ooh. Uh, it was the worst place to have wings on a barbarian because the dude was massive. So yeah. you just, your hat flies off. Uh, yeah. Um, so I, I would basically, I ended up trading up from the smallest thing was a chipped ruby, which is really fucking common mm-hmm. in the game. I had three chipped rubies, and I managed to get all the way up to the second best sword in the game mm-hmm. in one evening, just just through changing from. And obviously, I kept that for myself because yeah, I mean, you have to keep it. It was no, uh, it was no, 
grandfather, I want to say this all was, but it was the Godfather, which is the second best one. Sure. Um, but yeah, people would literally just give me orders and I go, right, okay, I'll make a room. Go, I'm looking for this. Someone will come in, see me, yeah, and say, I'm after this. Like, I have this. What would you give me for it? Okay, what do you want? Right, right. Stay in this room. Keep it active. I'm gonna go find it. Yeah. And they would sit in this room. I'd jump into every single other trade rooms that were available, trying to find these items and just trade everything about. Yeah. I would do four, five, six different trades in 20 minutes. Yeah. Just to try and get through. And it was all on a system trades as well. There was no trade menu because no, this no. was back in like 96. I want to say yeah, yeah. Diablo 2 was developed somewhere. Like that. That's probably about right. Yeah. Um, it is just you chuck it on the floor. Yeah. So if someone else, you had one of my mates was a sniper. He would go into trade rooms and snipe things. He'd just stand <laughs> next to them. Dunk, thank yeah, you. Just go, thank, thank you very much. <laughs> there was a, what you could try and do is you had to try and drop one thing to replace the top item. There, pick the top item. You get there one. Yeah. He got very good at doing that. Um, I didn't condone his actions. No, I just said, just let me trade it. It'll be fine. Yeah. I, I can get it for you. Yeah. Um, but no, he just he was like, no, I can do. It. Just, I've got my way of doing it. Um, <laughs> my I'm, slightly. Uh, in an inappropriate way of doing it. Yes, yeah. It's, I mean, immoral. Cause it wasn't, immoral, yeah. Yeah, the moral way of doing it. Um, and one of my favourite parts of uh, playing Diablo 2 was in Act 4, which is where you fought Diablo. Um, there is... You go through his prison, like, cathedral, yep. crypty, thing. citadel thing. Uh, and there, there are these enemies that put curses on you. And it was the bane of my life, because there is a curse called Iron Maiden... Hmm. which is when you hit anything, it does 200% damage back to you. Ooh, fun. Now, I hit like a motherfucking truck. Yeah. I could one-hit myself. <laughs> it was so annoying. Yeah. And you just spend all your time... like So if, if my friend wasn't on to boost us through to get to a... So certain items dropped off certain, mo- yeah. certain bosses, and if he wasn't there to get me through to Diablo for someone's gear, I'd have to do it with my leaps, because mm-hmm. Barbarian, you could jump... Like, that yeah, one's got yeah, a yeah. lot of sort of paths that you can it's a maze basically and yeah. with my range just jump all the way to the middle to fight Diablo if I did that and then I'm getting a shit ton of skeletons or something following me I'd hit one of them and I'd, I wouldn't see Kai's so Iron Maiden come up yeah. so i go it's, uh, dead it's, oh for God's like, sake. but all of your shit is on your corpse yes you, doesn't, you don't have an inventory it's, so you have to corpse yeah, run I have to corpse run naked to pick up all your stuff yeah with no items rapidly on, re-equip it on the hardest difficulty. Yeah. Jesus Christ, that was annoying. Yeah, it sounds it. And doing the uh, the secret cow level that does not exist in Diablo, because yeah, it's a secret. Exactly. Um, where you fight held by vines, which are cows equipped with halberds. Yeah. Which is the best thing ever. <laughs> and they have one sound clip, which yeah. literally just moo. That's it. That's that's all they do. Moo. There's no no inflection. Just no. Moo. 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 moo, moo. <laughs> Moo. Brilliant. When you're surrounded by cows, all going, moo, 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 And you're yeah. just mowing your way through them. Uh, no, one time, because we, we did it on the highest difficulty, we got, we died. <laughs> um, Murdered by cows. So basically what you had to do, you had to try and corpse run and get back to a scroll temple to put your gear on, because there was no time to be able to put your gear on in the level. You had to like sort of leap in. Yeah. Heaven forbid you use leap attack as a barbarian when you're naked. Jesus Christ, that was... Just, <laughs> oh, I did. Oh, no. Oh, so, yeah. Cool. Um, and yet you just sort of leap across, pick up your shit, don't put any of it on, and run the fuck away. <laughs> yeah, just leg it. Yeah, it was uh, it it was an interesting time. We had one where we just, I think we had nine different town portals open, where different <laughs> people were dying. Because you generally what you do is you'd map, you wouldn't map your attack, you'd map your leap to your left click, and you'd map scroll of town portal to your right click, yeah. which you wouldn't be able to do until you picked up your scroll that which is on your corpse. So you sort of <laughs> leapt through, yeah, trying not grab, to get... Grab, map. All these times these cows with hellbirds are insta-kills for you. Yeah. So you're trying to leap through, not getting hit by cows. Yeah. Right-clicking on your corpse, not the cow that's standing next to or on your corpse. Yeah. Picking it up, leaping away far enough to be able to right-click for the animation of the town portal to open and for you to left-click to go through it. Sounds it was fun. There's some stressful evenings doing yeah. that. It, but, yeah, but one of the best games I've ever played. <laughs> Anyway, enough of my 20-minute Diablo 2 rant yep. um, and tangent. I have uh, more quizzes for you to complete. Yay! Um, Everyone loves a quiz. Yes. the These ones are, I believe, nerdy-based quizzes. This one is... Uh, these are all from Britannica.com slash quiz. Okay. Um, where you can search for a variety of free quizzes um, and play them. For, With your friends. Yeah. Or just by yourself. I imagine how normal people do quizzes. Um Maybe. So this one is on comic book characters. 
didn't give okay. me any more information than that. It's just, this, this is probably going to just be imba- like, I should know a lot of this, and I feel it's just going to be massively embarrassing. On this one, I got seven out of, I believe this is 11. Okay. Oh, it's either 11 or 12. I, 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 love, I love these quizzes, like yeah. totally random number of questions. Yeah, yeah they are. So, uh, question the first. Yeah. Uh, which of the following descriptions is not associated with Batman? You have the Dark Knight, the Caped Crusader, the world's greatest detective, and the man without fear. Man without fear. That is correct. Uh, I will explain the answers come the end of the sure. the, uh, the quiz because I had to screen because they're multiple choice. I had to take a photo of every single question for the multiple choice <laughs> options so that you know. Yeah. Because like this one is which of the following I have to know all of the answers and I can't just go which of the following and give you no answers. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so, <laughs> that would be tricky. So uh, which of the following characters has a long time special agent for the Bureau of Paranormal Research and Defense? Hellboy, Damien Hellstrom, Hellcat, or Hellblazer? Shall I just stop you there? Mm-hmm. It's Hellboy. It is Hellboy. Uh, some of these are fantastic, the, the wrong answers. <laughs> um, what building is located at 1047 Grey Malkin Lane, Salem Center, New York? Is it the Batcave, the Fortress of Solitude, the Aven- uh, Avengers Mansion, or the X Mansion? Say, say the address again. It is 1407 Grey Malkin Lane, Salem Center, New York. I would reckon that anything in New York is probably not going to be the Fortress of Solitude. Yeah, it's not the Fortress of Solitude or the no, Batcave. No, uh, I, I don't think, think the Batcave has an address. No. Number one cave. <laughs> um, I think... Uh, behind Waterfall. Uh, I yeah. think it's the mansion. Which one? There's two mansions. You have Avengers Mansion or you have X Mansion. Oh, X Mansion. Sorry. It is indeed yeah. X Mansion, yes. I put Avengers Mansion now because I wasn't sure. Um, which of the characters holds the highest military rank? Captain um, America... Captain Marvel, Carol Den- Denvers, um, Captain Marvel, Billy Baston, or Batson, sorry, and Major Force. Oh, this is a tricky one. Mm. Captain America. Yeah. Captain Marvel, but Carol Denvers. Yeah. Denvers, Denvers. I can't read Denvers, it. yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, it's Danvers, actually. According to this. Danvers? Danvers, yeah. Carol Danvers. Okay. Uh, Captain oh, Marvel, Billy Batson, or Major Force. Right. Uh... Which one of those has the highest military rank? This isn't American military. Just to I was going to say, for a start, I don't know my American military I'm, ranks very no. well. But I'm going to... Right, I'm going to go on the basis that Major Force is not actually... I, I'll be honest, I don't know who Major Force is meant he, to be. I, I thought it was a piss take question. He is actually a character. Yeah, but I'm going to assume that he's not actually... Major's not his rank. No. So I'm going to discount him. Mm-hmm. Uh... Captain America, yeah, Captain America, I think, was officially a captain. Try and think back to your Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. No, I think they made him an honorary captain, essentially. Does that make him, does that, is it honor, honorary ranks actual ranks? That's the question. Well, yes. But he just can't, he can do shit all with it because he doesn't know what he's doing. Um, so we got Danvers and Batson. I'm going to have to take a punt on this you one. You are, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go Batson. Uh, no, it was Denver's or Denver's. Oh, Sorry. damn! So Denver's. close. Uh, which of the following characters is an actual medical doctor? This is easy: Doctor Manhattan, Doctor Octopus, Doctor Strange, or Doctor Doom. Uh, Doctor Strange, yes, indeed. Uh, Wonder Woman's home of Paradise Island is also known as either Zamoron, Attilian, Thangaga, or Thandaja, Thandagar, and Themyscira. That one, Themyscira. I think That's it's pronounced. Whatever. Yeah. It's a fantasy Thun- place. I can pronounce it Thun- however, however I damn yeah, please. That one, basically. Yeah, it doesn't exist. Yeah. Uh, what is the correct spelling for Peter Parker's web swinging alter ego? You have Arachne, hmm, Spider, Space Man, Spider Man, Spider Hyphen Man. Oh, it's a Which fucking, brand? It's a grammar question. It's a, it's a branding <laughs> question. How? What is Spider Man's brand? Think he's a hyphen. He is a hyphen. Yeah. See, I wasn't. Okay. I thought he was a. I thought it was an all-in-one jobby. See, I think that are the films an all-in-one. I'm trying to think about the, the posters the, now. I don't know. It depends how you want to brand it in regards to the cinematic universe. I feel the, the trilogy, the Sam, Ra- uh, not Sam Raimi. Um, was it Sam Raimi? Whoever. Uh, the yeah, the, the the bad ones. The Tobey Maguire trilogy. Yeah. That one. I think they were unhyphenate. I think that was all one word. I I want to say that the cinematic universe. Have, have ditched the hyphen for yeah. branding. Yeah, but, but I'm going on the, the comic. The book comic universe, universe is still hyphenated. hyphenated. Yeah. yeah, again, that's allegedly. I don't know. 
I think that that seems I, accurate. I don't remember seeing a hyphen in some, at least some of the Spider-Man. No, films. I don't. I think the first lot of Spider-Man films did have the hyphen. Yeah, and then all the ones subsequently don't have the hyphen. I don't know not. about Homecoming though. No, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, this, carry on. This one's also an easy question. Clark Kent is a mild-mannered reporter for what newspaper? I don't even need to give you the options. I shouldn't need to give you the options. Uh, the, the Planet. Yes, it is. The other options were the Arkham Advertiser, the Daily Bugle, or the New Frontiersman. <laughs> it was <laughs> yeah. the New Frontiersman. Uh, this uh, is this one. Uh, yeah, this is this is my favourite question. Okay. Um, just because of the 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 out thereishness even of the correct answer. Okay. Uh, so, which of the following characters was a member of the Legion of Superheroes? Oof, Christ. Uh, arm fall off, boy. <laughs> Absorbency boy, <laughs> drummer boy, or matter eating lad. <laughs> One of them is a correct answer. They're amazing. I know. This is why it's my favourite question. One oh of them God. is indeed a correct answer. I, I don't know much about the Legion of Superheroes. I, I knew all. nothing. Um, but it's it's a proper old school comic. So the the name of the characters would lead that to be yeah yeah. Proper... So I'm I'm gonna go with matter eating lad. You are correct. Yeah. I wanted it. I put arm fall off boy. Yeah, you wanted, I wanted it to be arm fall off, off boy. Which uh, sounds like a emo band. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so up next is arm fall off boy followed yeah. by Jimmy, uh, three doors down. Yeah. Um, so Judge Dredd enforces the law in which post-apocalyptic urban sprawl? You've got Doomstadt, Coast <laughs> City, Keystone City, or Mega City 1. Mega City 1. Mega City 1. But um, I wanted to be Doomstadt. <laughs> so... I don't. You got nine out of uh, ten out of eleven for that one, didn't you? No, nine out. Of, there was ten questions for that one. Right, I got nine out of ten. There. I was going to say I counted a nine. Yeah. So Excellent. I know you got one wrong. So yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you're. I got seven. So you know, you got comics books better than I do. I think we knew that. Yeah. It's... And I don't feel bad about the one I got wrong. No, I, I don't think you should either. Which one was the one you got wrong? It was, it was the, the military rank one. Oh yes, yeah. I was going to run through that one. So uh, yeah, correct answer is um, Carol Danvers. Yeah. So Carol Danvers is a colonel in the U.S. Air Force. Okay. Steve Rogers was never commissioned as an officer. Oh, did he never make it to officer? Ah, At least okay. in so regards to private. The, simi- uh, the um, yeah, because in the beginning of the film, he's um, private part of the super, yeah. super uh, thing. Yeah, the the make small people big program. Yeah. Um, super weapon. That's what I was after. Uh, Billy Batson is an eight-year-old boy. And Major Force is actually... Oh, Christ, Billy Batson is an eight-year-old boy. <laughs> I'd absolutely forgotten that. God damn. And Major Force is actually dishonorably discharged sergeant. Oh. So. Damn, I'd totally forgotten that Billy Batson was a kid. Of course he is. God damn it. <laughs> Again, I don't know the, I don't know the Marvel. I knew stuff, Danvers so. had military rank, but yeah. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> so I just... Yeah. Yeah, took a punt. Um, so this one was basically... Between me and Jay, we have, what, eight years of mobile phone... Technical uh, experience, if yeah, not more. About that, yeah. I forget how many years you worked. I, I worked for them for like five and a half years, nearly six years. So. To avoid any form of copyright, we work. I work currently for a uh, company, um, which is a telecoms company, and the number falls between two and four. Um, and Jay I used, used to work to for work that for same a, a, between two same, and four yeah. company. Um, I've been doing it for coming up to three years, and you. So yeah, we're nearly ten years worth of. Yeah. So I've just there was one on here for mobile phones, so mm-hmm. I thought I'd see how well I knew my own job. Oh God. Uh, it turns out it's nothing to do really with my It's very okay. technical questions. <laughs> oh, so, so not very well yeah. at all then? Uh, no, I still do quite well, I think. All right, what did you get? Uh, let me just scroll to the end. Uh, I got... Uh, there are eight questions. Yeah. And I got five. Okay. So. And these are these are technical questions? Not not massively technical, but I mean, well, mobile phones have a lot of acronyms. A lot of it, what does this acronym mean? Okay. So I'm going to be well rusty on this. this one I'll should be my best. This one should be all right. I actually clicked the wrong one for this one, which is a bit irritating. Hmm. Um, is, what does VoIP stand for? What does uh, VoIP? Voice over internet protocol. It does indeed. Uh, what is the name for the mapped hexagonal geographic areas that make up a cellular phone grid? It's in the title. Say so, that again? So, uh, what is the name of the mapped hexagonal geographic areas that make up the cellular phone grid? I'll give you the options. Pins, hexagrids, containers, or cells? Is it hexagrids? No, it's cells. Cells, damn. Yes, cellular. Because I was thinking hexes. Yeah, yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what my brain went to as well. This is quite a good one. What does the SIM in SIM card stand for? Is it subscriber identity module? System internet module uh, mode, sorry, 
sending internet module, or subtype identity method. Crap, I used to know this as well. So it is Give me the first option again. Subscriber identity module, system internet mode, sending internet module, or subtype identity method. I'm going to go with the first one. It is the first one. Thingy. Subscriber identity oh. module. Yeah, that thing. Uh, the biggest difference between 3G and... This is a true or false question. Okay. Uh, the biggest difference between 3G and 2G mobile data, tra- uh, mobile data transfer technology is the use of packet switching over circuit switching. True or false? I'll say again. The biggest difference between 3G and 2G mobile data transfer technology is the use of packet switching over circuit switching. I'm going to say true, but it sounds... It is, it is true. true. Yeah, because HSPDA stands for High Speed Packet... Data. Yeah, I knew that. It was the circuit switching bit that threw me. Yes, so Edge and GPRS use circuit switching. Again, I don't really I know what that means. I assume they use carrier pigeons. Yeah, well, I mean, if you tried loading a web page on a 2G phone, it, it, you might as well yeah. find your nearest IT calf or library and load the page because it's going to be quicker. Yeah. Um, so, which brand of radio wave frequencies, uh, sorry, which band of radio wave frequencies do cellular phones use for telecommunications? 1 to 200 megahertz, 800 to 900 megahertz, 500 to 600 megahertz, or 1100 to 1200 megahertz. Christ, this is techy. Yeah, it is. This is when I was like, this isn't, but it turns out I, I got the right answer, so I just want to see if you know. Uh, give me the uh, bandings uh, again. 1 to 2. Yeah. These are, these are in hundreds. 1 to yeah. 2, 8 to 9, 5 to 6, or 11 to 12. I'm just trying to remember your, your 3G bandings now. Yeah. See, I have the benefit of you haven't done this for nearly a year, and I did it three days ago. I've, so <laughs> I haven't done this for longer than that. Yeah. Um... Is it 8 to 9? It is 8 to 9. 11 to 12 is... 4G. Yeah. Well, no, so 4G goes up to 2100 now. Yes, it does. Yeah, yeah. so okay. 11 to 12 is your starting of 3G data, 8 to 9. Uh, lowest banding avenue in the UK is 800. There that's for, for for telecommunications would be 2G minimum, so that's 8 yeah. to 9. Uh, which telephone company introduced the first mobile telephone service uh, in 1946? Is it Bell Telephone Company? Central Telephone and Electronics, bracket Century Link. Uh, Vivendi, Universal SA, or AT and T, the American Telephone and Telegraph Company. We go Bell. I went Bell as well. We were both wrong. It's AT and T. Oh, fuck yeah. you, AT and T. Yeah, I hear a lot of American people saying that as well. Yeah. Uh, so, which manufacturing company produced the first camera phone called the J Phone? So, hey, yeah. the J Phone that could send photos over cellular network. Was it Sharp, Apple, Motorola, or AT and T? Oh, they're leading me down the garden path there. They want me to say AT and T. I think it was Motorola. I also thought it was Motorola. It's AT and T. No, it was Sharp. It was sharp. It was sharp. Sharp made phones. Yeah, I, used, I had Sharp used to make really good back in the old clamshell era. Right, the Sharps Did were the they? best. Yeah, really Don't good. Cool those at all. Uh, this is the last question. Uh, Motorola was the first telephone company to create a handheld mobile phone. True or false? So, were Motorola the first telephone company mm. to create a handheld mobile phone? Casting my mind back to those amazing 80s yes. mini briefcases. They weren't mini. They were full no. scales. Yeah. Full scales of like... Uh, Hand luggage. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go true. Yeah, fuck it. It was Motorola. It was true, yes. Yes. So, uh, we scored the same. Got five. Yep. Yeah. We got the same questions right and the same questions wrong. Excellent. <laughs> I think I, I think that's quite good going for a, yeah. over a um, year out of the business. I, say, I, I wasn't intending to use it. I was just like, oh, this is interesting. And yeah. I, I went through it I'm like... It's actually quite good. I'm going to take photos of this because this is a. I just want to see how well Jay remembers this stuff. That's all. Not bad. To no. Be honest. About as good as someone who currently still does yeah, the job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what that says about me, but anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um. So the next thing I have. Yeah. Is uh, the usual. I tell you the title, you tell me the plot. Okay, yeah. Uh, we are in the final two episodes of Always Sunny Season oh 12. Oh my god. Uh, unless there is anything else you want to talk about between them, because we generally end on this one because it has spoilers. So I don't think so. No, I mean, we're nearly at time, I think. Sure. Uh, yeah, we're at 48 minutes, so this will take us to over the hour. So Excellent. Uh, right, so yeah, the last two episodes of Season 12 of Always Sunny. Uh, Ooh, very... Just quickly, guys, spoilers. Yeah, full spoilers for basically I'm going to end up going through the not the this episode in detail, just some of the major plot points through the episode. So you might want to... So if you want to wait for the UK release or if you haven't got around to seeing it yet, this would be the point to stop listening. At which point I'd like to say thank you for listening this far and do hope you come back next week um, for, well, potentially when we have one next week, which... Seems to be more regular now than normal. Yeah. So, hopefully. Um, we'll see you next episode that we do. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. So, again, spoilers from this point onwards. Uh, the 
episode, the fi- penultimate episode, mm-hmm. is titled "A Cricket's Tale." So once again, right? So it's in while you think about what it is. The again the title, "A Cricket's Tale." Uh, during this, Jay basically, I, I give Jay the title. He takes, he thinks of all the major characters who he thinks is going to be involved in the episode, what they're going to be doing, and how the episode will unfold over the next twenty minutes. So, I mean, a cricket's tale should give you an idea of who's involved. Yeah, so it's it's going to be about rickety cricket. It is indeed about rickety cricket. Good old so, rickety cricket. Rickety cricket. Who uh, I didn't realise until a few seasons into it is actually a writer. And when he came on, he that's when he started writing episodes for it. Oh, really? That's his main role on the show is a writer. Oh, amazing! And, he, and that's why he does. He's not. He's infrequent because yeah, he cameos yeah. him. I did not realise that. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, that's nice. Um, there we go. A bit of a fun fact for all. Yeah. Right, rickety cricket. So a cricket's tale. A cricket's tale. So. I feel that this is going to be an episode where we try to give Cricket some joy. Like, mm-hmm. Cricket's had a horrible, horrible, horrible life since meeting the gang. Yes, yes. Uh, D has cast him out of the parish. Yep. Um, he's, he's had a variety of addictions. Yeah, he's then become homeless. He then became a gigolo, or a, just a street hooker. Yep. Um, at which point he then worked at a dog's home where he was... Raped, raped by, by dogs, a lot of dogs. Um, and then the gang tried to repair all their relations with him and set him on fire in their house. Yeah, um, he was also a wrestler. Yes, he for was. Them. He yeah. was with a trash man. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, a whole variety of terrible things have happened to cricket. Yeah. So I think this is going to be a an effort at a happy cricket episode. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I think it's going to focus mainly on cricket, a bit like when they did the the Frank episode. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's going to be of that nature. I don't think it'll be point of view from cricket, yep. but it will be following him predominantly. Mm-hmm. Now, I think I'm torn between whether or not the gang are trying to do something nice for him mm-hmm. or something nice is going on and they are just going to interject and ruining it. Unintentionally, just yeah, like yeah, yeah. whatever they're doing in their life will spill over and ruin. I think it's that one. Okay. So he's having something good is happening to him, yep. possibly involving a woman. Okay, yeah. Like a, a potential spouse. He's going to yep. get his life back on track. Mm-hmm. And the gang, unintentionally, in because the, he's unimportant to them... In the always sunny way, they don't factor they, him into anything. Exactly, yep. but will, in doing so, ruin the good thing that's happening to mm-hmm. him. That's what I think happens. Okay, cool. Yep. And the final one yep. is Dennis's Double Life. So, our final episode of the season is Dennis's Double Life. It's also a very sad episode as well. Is it? Mm. Oh. I can just give you a little... Uh, Did you little cry? Uh, it came close to it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Which is you're... weird for an always sunny thing. And for me. Yeah, feelings. you're made of stone and brimstone. anger. Uh, please, brimstone. Yeah, yeah. Not just stone. Any, any stone. Brimstone. Um, right. So, Dennis's Double Life. Mm-hmm. And it made you nearly cry. Only the last, like, minute. Wow. Don't take that as, a, as how the episode goes. Okay. So, yeah. so do we find out that Dennis has been leading a double life? In which case, what is it he would have been leading? Like the, the clear thing is that he'd have been. He's actually he actually is a serial killer <laughs> slash rapist. <laughs> well, there, there was it that that was in Dennis. Uh, but we've kind of done that. We have one in Dennis Reynolds making a murderer. Yeah, yeah. Or making Dennis Reynolds a murderer. Sorry. Yeah. Um. So, yep, once again, there's Dennis Richards' double life. I'm vamping to make sure there's no dead air. Yeah, that's fair. Way. While so, I percolate while, while and I, try and I, figure out. Yeah, I don't think I, the, the ticks and the cogs of your head are actually coming through the no, microphone. No, I don't think so. so. Maybe if I get closer to the but, microphone, yeah. um, you'll hear the whirring cogs as I try and figure out what the hell they would do with that. Yeah. It is very different. Always, well, it is and it isn't different always on the episode. Do we have a... Right. Is it a um, uh, a Christmas Carol esque episode where we find out what what Dennis's life could have been? I don't know. You have to tell me what you think it is. And I'll tell you what it is gone. at the end. Oh god damn! It, <laughs> not giving things away. Right, I'm going to go with that. So okay. we get a glimpse of what Dennis's life could have been like. Oh, so you think it's like the ghost of uh, ghost of Dennis past? Yeah, but I Dennis. don't think anyone's going to turn up to tell him to change his life. I think this is just a how things could have. Possibly from his own imagination, because he's he's so arrogant, like when he went, and he blames everything on other people. Like the the scene where he ends up going down on himself because he thinks he's so important. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. I reckon he will have a a schizophrenic discourse with himself. Yeah, yeah, where he goes through what his life would have been like if he hadn't got caught up with the rest of the gang yeah. and the amazing things he would have achieved. If they wouldn't have held down the golden god. Exactly. And how, how he would yeah. have shined. Yeah, exactly that. And then obviously at the end we will realise that 
that is never ever going to happen yep. regardless of whether or not he met the gang because he's a terrible human being oh he is, he's an awful human being yeah um, right, so yeah, that's the two episodes, the last yeah. two episodes of this so one. How did, how did it do? Um, I'll just reiterate again, this is the point... Such spoilers. This is the point where the spoilers happen. Again, it's not major plot points, because I also want Jay to enjoy when he watches yes, it. Yes, which I will. Um, but it's also... It, I only need to go into enough detail to quantify the episode. Yeah, so, sure. So, in A Cricket's Tale, um, it actually happens over the course of the last two episodes. So, Cricket oh, okay. appears twice in the last two episodes, uh-huh. the pre- well, previous two episodes. Yeah. Of uh, PTSD mm-hmm. and uh, the gang tens bar, right? Yeah. Um, so in, again, in that one, PTSD is when um, D uh, D is dating a guy who's a stripper. He thinks he's hit low. D tries to make it worse. seem like he's not. Yeah. Uh, he's like big up says she's not the worst. I'm not the worst thing that's happened to your life, and then systematically tries to ruin it further just to prove yeah. that it could get lower than where he is now. Yeah. Um, and uh, the other bit is Mac and. Um, Frank playing on the VR, but that doesn't really matter. Frank yeah. into the episode too much, and it ends up being a stripper. A um, a, they have a what do you call it? Oh, Dennis and Charlie want to become strippers through yes. through as well. That's the other part that happens. Uh, so basically, the the episode happens. Um, cricket and is uh, first of all they're doing a uh, Aladdin style chase where he's running away from a bald man mm-hmm. uh, with a a baguette. <laughs> uh, which basically leads him running through things, and it's very much like the um, the, the scene from Aladdin. Yeah, a point yeah. where even where he's calling uh, the guy calls him a street rat, so it's, it's quite clear what they're <laughs> yeah what they're trying to um, show. Yeah, uh, cricket does some parkour down some um, <laughs> fire escapes and stuff like some pretty amazing sort of street gymnastics basically yeah. um, lands on a bin and then falls over into a truck the bin is for some reason in the middle of Philadelphia full of manure obviously so he falls into it yeah um, he then starts eating the bread and his de- um, man comes up behind him yeah and he basically said, taps on the shoulder and asks him if, if he's Ben I forget what his name is Ben Mira I want to think what his name is sure um and then he comes out and says, look, if you're looking... Yes, I'm the suck man you're after. You better have money, though. Um, it's in no pay, no spray. <laughs> it's my motto. Uh, and then he turns around and turns out it's his dad. Yeah. Um, so he gets reconciled with his dad. His dad wants to take him into his uh, family business. He's going to retire. You never find out what the family business is. Okay. But it's just some form of... Something. They're at a, a warehouse of some description. Yeah. Moving things about and whatever. They build slash move things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, so they have a question on. Uh, he's talking to his dad. They end up at the bar. He goes into the bar. He has a whole thing with. Uh, in the previous episode, he walks in during PTSD at the beginning. Yeah. Asks, he goes, "Is it right if I still shower in your broken urinal?" And they mm-hmm. go, "Yeah, knock yourself out credits." So he goes in there. Yeah. That the episode then continues with him in the toilet. So yeah. It's all like in one of those interlaced film point of sure, view sure. jobbies. Um, at which point he goes, "Well, what?" Well, his dad says, "You don't need to go in here and smoke the PCP." It's like, "Dad, I'm not going to go and smoke PCP." And then he goes, "Oh, well, while I'm here, reaches under the <laughs> toilet, pulls out a, a, a yeah. cigarette with PCP in it." Now, the bit you first see is him going to smoke it, um, and then he, he looks at himself, sees all of his scars and his cataracts yeah. and uh, everything like, else. Ball, yeah, he's like, "No, I'm not going to." Takes it and throws it in the bin. Yeah. Uh, then the episode carries on. He comes out, goes to his dad's truck and firm, finds a girl. Mm-hmm. Um, Starts talking to the girl, goes on a date with, the, um, asks the girl out on a date. Then the gang phone him up, asking for him to be in the uh, strip show they're going to have at the end of the episode. Yep. But his brother's on him about being a uh, like a wasted druggie. You're going to be high mm-hmm. doing this sort of stuff. Yeah. Um. So he's like, no, no, I'm not doing it. I don't, don't need it. And it's like, cricket, we'll pay you five dollars to do it. Come on, that's that. How much would you have to do for five dollars? That's like three blowjobs for you. Yeah, uh, that you don't have to do. He's like, no, I've not. I've given up that life now. He's like, all right, three dollars, and then uh, Dennis Charlie goes, all right, three dollars. Then it's like, that's no, that's not how it works. It's like, no, it is real quicker. You you just start taking the money away, and he gets more desperate. He's like, oh yeah, cool. Right, hurry up, quicker, or he's going to become two dollars. <laughs> and it's like, eventually he breaks, and it cuts to that episode where he's in the um, yeah. the strip show. Uh, cuts to the end bit where they say about paying him. Are they paying him lemons mm-hmm. because he's got scurvy? Yeah. And one of the other things he's gained over of course. the course of the season. Um, then the episode progresses he uh, is out eating the lemons in his weird way where he sucks he goes <laughs> <laughs> um, for an extended period of time Yeah. Uh, girl comes up to him and, uh, and they start talking they go on a date it's uh, then at that point like a uh, lady in the tramp they're sat there eating pasta yeah um Oh, one of the great scenes in the bit before when he's at his dad's hoarder shop, there's a very big box. Mm-hmm. And the first thing Cricket does is he sees it, goes in and says, oh, yes, I could get used to this. And he's like, I'm going to be comfy in this tonight. He goes, no, you're not, you you're not going to sleep in the 
in the box. I was like, well, where am I going to sleep then? I was like, we've got a bed. I'm like, no, no, it's fine. You can keep it. I'm, I'll, I'll have a box. And I don't want to be too much hassle. Um, but yeah, he goes on this date with this girl. And then he um, comes back in at a later episode. Oh, sorry. Not that bit. Not a bit later. Uh, he goes on a date with a girl. Comes back to see his dad. He's got an important meeting that he's missed. Mm-hmm. Um, although he's trying to turn his life around, his parents are really, ha- really angry. His dad's really angry at him. His brother's like, I told you you're a waste of piece of shit. Uh, Cricket does more cool parkour to catch the guy before he parkour. gets in his car. Because um, he's like, literally just met the meeting. He's like, oh, he's already down by the car. No one's going to catch him now. He's like, really? Runs out the window, jumps onto a bin truck, jumps down yeah. to catch the guy. And the guy's like, did you just jump off a bin truck to get it? He's like, yeah, that's how committed I am to your business. He goes, well, I'm, I don't want, I've said no and I've made my mind up. So, all right, then I'm going to have to cut you. <laughs> he goes, what? And he goes, I'm from the streets. If I don't get what I want, I'm going to stab your heart full of holes. Mm-hmm. And pulls out a shank. And he goes, <laughs> the next scene is him kind of like, yeah, no, he wants, the, he wants our business now. He's like, oh, what's a change of mind? He's like, he had a really compelling argument. <laughs> um, and then girl turns up after all of that happens. He's now reconciled. His dad's like, oh, yeah, yeah, it all happened. His brother's like, I, I misjudged you. I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. Uh, then the girl comes back, starts talking to the girl. She's now going away. Mm-hmm. Um, now the cricket's happy with his new life. And then he ends up, um, starts making out with the girl. And then you hear it, it cuts back to his dad and his brother going, Oh God, what are you doing? He goes, What? I'm making out with this hot girl that I've been on a date with and I'm in love with. And he goes, That's dad's dog. <laughs> and it's just a Labrador. Yeah. Um, so this whole time, and then he goes, Oh, wait a minute. So the bit you see is him throwing the joint in the bin. Yeah. Uh, he actually it bounces off the bin onto the floor. He goes, oh, Well, that's a sign. Smokes in the whole episode. It's just him tripping on PCP. Aww. Um, and then he comes back in at the end, right at the very end of the episode when it's the gang tens bar, when yep. they're just trying to be normal. Cricket walks in while they're being like being as run, a successful bar, and yeah. he goes, "Hey guys, is it all right? I'll go smoke some PCP in your toilet." And all the normal guys are like, "Yeah, go knock yourself out, Cricket. Don't worry." And Dennis gets very angry at them. Yeah, and then it carried, and then basically the episode ends there. Yeah, so it's just the whole episode is just a PCP trip from Cricket. Aww. It's uh, poor Cricket. Yeah, it was quite funny. Uh, so Dennis's double life is basically the episode starts with them in the bar. Uh, Dennis comes in and just goes, "Right, there's a girl coming in." I forget her name. Uh, there's a girl coming in. I'm not Dennis. My name's Brad. No, what's his name? Who's the guy that he did he when he was playing about um stole that guy's life? I can't remember his name now. Oh shit, yeah, yeah. The he, businessman. Yeah. <sighs> I wanna s uh, I can't remember his name now. No, I can't, but, but yeah, yeah it's relating to yeah. that. So he yeah. says he's that he says he's that person, like don't call me that. Yeah. Um and Mac's like, Do I, am I still Mac? Am I still me? He's like, Yeah. I was like, Well but I don't wanna be I don't wanna be me. <laughs> So and then Charlie's like, right? Uh, are, um, are you are you left handed? Are you still are you left handed? It's like that's, that's not that's not going to come up in Charlie's. No, but if it does, are, are you left handed? It's important. Are you left handed? And he goes, no, no, this, this is not going to come up. Don't worry about it. So comes in and he goes, yeah, these are all my friends. And he's like, oh, so this is where you hang out. Yeah, and he goes, hi, I'm Dave. No, you're not. No, you are. That is Mac. That is Charlie, uh, Frank, and and um, and D's got a different name. It's for his wife from that episode. I forget. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and then Charlie goes, and he's left-handed. <laughs> and Dennis just sort of says it because there was I did, was almost certain that wasn't going to come up in conversation. <laughs> um, so the scene progresses on. The woman is also holding a child. Right. And Dennis goes, "This is uh, whatever the character's whoever name is. is yeah. yeah, I want to say Deborah or something like that." Um. Uh. And this is little David. I think his name is uh, my son. Oh. So yeah. Um. So they they end up in the office. Um. They have sort of a discussion on it. It's basically it's when you know the Wade Boggs episode. Yeah. Where Dennis gets off in South Dakota. Yeah. He um basically he takes on the character that he's had before. So yeah. Because he's got he's got the backs. He's like, yeah. I, I generally recycle characters because I've got already got the established backstory there. Yeah. Yeah. So this time I made him a uh, pilot. Uh, that works out of Philadelphia. I've just got a layover in Dakota, um, and he ended up sort of sleeping with this woman. I get a call five five months later saying I've got a son. Um, so now that's where Dennis's double life comes in. Basically, yeah. she thinks he's this guy. Yeah. And then um, he's he's not basically obviously. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, seem the the episode progresses in him um, basically trying to get out of the commitment of his son. <laughs> like I'm, yep. he's like I really don't want this. Like, I I don't want this at all. Um, so they think of more ha- more and more harebrained schemes. So Max, they all put in to the um, to the pot and what they could do. Yeah. Max, like, well, why don't you just tell her you're gay? 
and that way like it's like but i've already slept with those like yeah no tell her you sleep with women but you, you you're actually gay like you're <laughs> you're not gay enough that you you can only sleep with men but you're you're but you are gay but you're too gay to be married to to, to have a <laughs> wife and a child and it's like right okay that's a stupid plan let's move on he goes to d that's right if you um d what what do you think and he went well she went oh, there's, there's no point in me saying anything because even if you are even if i say anything you're not going to listen to me uh, and if you do listen to me you're just going to um rubbish it straight away and, and they just kind of go yeah no you're right charlie <laughs> um and then charlie goes on about the waitress saying oh yeah maybe if i get the waitress knocked up um <laughs> then she can't leave me and she has to be with me and then so he's like all right he's not even paying attention to this and frank goes on about um something about sleeping with a rich dude because they basically he thinks she's after money yeah because he's a rich pilot is the, the thing yeah. he's played um so yeah basically the scene progresses where mac escalates the level of gayness of dennis right before like um talking to dennis about it so yeah he, yeah. he like escalates to dennis being max gimp but they, they, they're like, yeah, no, we have, uh, we we share one, but we have lots of sex. And he's like, no, 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 we are. Uh, I sleep with women, but I am emotionally attached to a man, and I feel bad about not being emotionally attached to you. And so it's, that's, his, that's how Dennis thinks. Like yeah. he can't he, even to lie to get rid of this woman that he doesn't want to have be with. Yeah, he, he can't come across as he can't being, be gay. Yeah, yeah, he can't be gay. Um, and then other stuff happens with other characters. Oh, yeah, Charlie ends up um, trying to with the waitress. He has a little diagram saying how her life has just progressed worse um, since. Like, so you started off as a waitress, and then you became unemployed, and then you became an, a drunk, and then you've got the enemy of all women, uh, which is just time. It's just a picture of an old drunk woman. This is a really rudimentary like line chart <laughs> yeah. going down. So um, this is your life. If we got. Um, if you're with me, so there's us here, and then you've got Frank, we'll just provide for us. So you'll start off down here with us, and you end up with you on a, hol- on a beach here, look, and then gets two really big pictures of just like collages, <laughs> which is just a supermodel body with her face on it with yeah. lots of money everywhere and a baby <laughs> stuck at the bottom. Yeah. And she's like, um, why do you keep. And I was like, no, what don't you get about this? And you find out it's, she progresses it to being her insecurities. She's like, why do you want me? There's better people. Why would you want me? There's better than people than me out there. Yeah. So she kind of turns the whole thing rather than him not being good enough for her. The whole time it's been her not being good enough for him. Yeah. Uh, and then they end up sleeping together. <laughs> Obviously. Um, and then, but it, also with a baby as well. Yeah. So the, she's like lying there with sort of her legs. I was like, what, what are you doing? It's like, oh, this is the best way to guarantee uh, conception. <laughs> yes. And yeah. then Charlie just gets like, just flicks like, like, oh. And then she starts getting like, not naggy, but she starts saying like, yeah, you need to change this, you need to do this, 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 and it's like, yeah. Charlie's just basically like, I, I need to go, and just leaves, basically, and just ignores her for the rest of the episode, she's not in the rest of it, <laughs> you never really find out what happens, No. Um, but she like phones Charlie up, and he's just ignoring it, and everything, yeah. and um, yeah, so everything happens, it gets to the point where they go through everyone's plan, uh, Frank very crudely tries to be the rich person to sleep with the woman, Yeah. Um, but does it in a very frank way, it's like, I'm not going to pay you a million, docs, a million dollars like they do in the, in the, uh, in the film, I'll give you five because you look like about you look about five. <laughs> um, then I'll give you the money. You can go back to the rural wherever you are from, and if you need more money, you come back. We bang, but it's not going to be the five the five grand again because you know I've already done you once, so it'd be a little bit less. But if you bring back a friend, the money will start going back up again. Um, me, in the meantime, I'm going to go take a shit. Um, if you want to follow me in, you can work for it. You'll get a bit more. Uh, <laughs> if and then go stairs. If she does follow me in, order me an egg. <laughs> um, so yeah Frank very crudely tries to um, be the, the rich person to pull her off of Dennis which yeah. obviously doesn't work no. meanwhile Mac's trying to escalate the gayness as well <laughs> yep. um, and then they end up doing D's plan which is where they just end up saying that um, he needs to die so they, they plan this whole thing of uh, walking down an alleyway Dennis is this uh, secret agent person and he's <laughs> the friends have sort of kept him uh, effectively prisoner to stop yeah. him spreading get national secrets and stuff he's under like super um, surveillance and yeah. all this sort of stuff and then they're just walking down this alleyway and she goes oh you're bleeding it's like oh yeah um, yeah I think I've been shot <laughs> and then like a minute later you hear his gun truck goes like yep there you go I've been shot <laughs> normally you'd expect the gun the sound to happen before the blood but you know this is it, the blood first and it really badly acts dying yeah. and then the gang turns up in a van and she's just like right you're done 
like because I came here because I thought a son should know a dad but if you don't want any of it and that's cool <laughs> um, I'll just go back to North Dakota and you won't have to worry about us again and he's like oh um, okay yeah <laughs> he's like do you want to at least say bye to your son he's like uh, yeah picks it up cuddles it and then Dennis starts cuddling it for longer yeah like he cuddles it in this whole thing yeah, alright yeah uh, cool and then it's just like the silence and that like, yeah and he's like he, she goes, are you done? He goes, y- yeah. Still key on it. Yeah. Right, uh, yeah, there you go. And you just start seeing the, the flick of it. Yeah. Uh, and then at the end of it, the, there's all of them doing the stupid dance moves. So you've got Charlie doing his ass dance, Dee's doing yeah, yeah. a wacky wailing, wacky arm flailing, yeah. tube man. Uh, Max chop dancing, or karate yeah, dancing. And, like, and Frank's doing his one move. Yeah. Um, and then Dennis is just sat there, sort of staring at him. And it just they cuts to him from a couple of times. And then he goes... I don't want this. Just doesn't say. Just I don't want this. I'm like, what? Yes, I don't want this. Uh, I'm I'm leaving. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go be with her and her kid. See you later. It's like, like, what? No, you, what? And they're like, no, yeah, no, that's it. It's the bar's done for me. And he like goes up. He turns all the lights off. And they're like, no, we're still. The bar's not done. We're still here. Yeah. And then it has like a touching moment where he's there, look, sort of, you know, like an end, an end of a season kind of yeah. thing, or an end of a character leaving. They they have a long look at it. And he's he's there looking at it. And then they go, yeah, you got. It's like, do, you, you're going to talk to me, don't, like you're ruining this for me. And like, just don't. And they're like, yeah, but we're just, they start talking. He has another little bit of a moment. He goes, yeah, no, you ruined it for me. And just shuts the door and walks off. <laughs> and that's it. Omg. Yeah. And then the very end of the episode is Mac, the rocket launcher that Den- Mac got yeah. Dennis for his um, birthday. Yeah. Um, at the beginning of the episode, he says the rocket has turned up. It's like, so they they've got the full RPG there, yeah. <laughs> and they blow up Dennis's Range Rover. <laughs> Omg. So. They basically they've written Dennis out of the episode, out of the se- out of Always Sunny. Wow! So because see what happens. Yeah, well, the the meta behind it basically is he he him and two other very big writers in Hollywood have got yeah. a show on pilot. Yeah. Um, and if it gets picked up, it's on NBC. Yeah. And obviously they're on FXX. Yeah. So although Rob and Charlie have got stuff. Like outside of it, yeah. it's always been under the Fox banner. Mm-hmm. So the the bad teacher, like the the fight yeah, yeah. film that Chai Day's doing, yeah. it's a, I believe a Fox film yeah. or a Universal film, and but it hasn't conflicted with Always Sunny. And the TV shows they have have always been Fox based, mm-hmm. uh, whereas this is uh, H- HBO. Actually, I think it is. Um, so there's a good chance if it gets picked up, which from all the things I've seen, it's like yeah, it's almost certainly going to yeah. get picked up. It's these two massive writers that have written loads of stuff. Yeah. Um, that they're just going to end up like his contract will be just on HBO. I mean, which is fair enough. He's done Always Sunny for twelve years and yeah. not got anything else out of it. Yeah. So, but yeah, that's basically. It looks like Dennis isn't in it. Um, but they also kind of rounded off every, most other people's stories. Like they rounded off Charlie's one yeah. with the waitress as well. Kind of. Yeah. So, like, if there is a season, they a, another one more season, they could conceivably end a lot of people's story yeah, arcs yeah yeah sure so, so they could be building Mac, towards Mac, a proper finish Mac has now stayed out as being gay yeah um, nothing really happened with Frank but Frank doesn't really need much yeah. to just start a new business and go away yeah. somewhere D I mean finds someone yeah um, or gets killed <laughs> so, whoever yeah. cares yeah whatever um, the last yeah. thing you see of Charlie and the waitress together was him knocking her up yeah so that could be that could be a lot of yeah. the focus for season So it, it could be a wind down to always something. Oh, yeah. Wow. Dramatic yeah. stuff. So that's why I was like, oh, that's, I don't like this. Yeah. This is the oh, end no, of... No, no. Yeah, this is the end. Don't, I don't take my know. thing away. Yeah, it's 12 seasons of this. <laughs> I will keep making more. Make more for me forever. forever. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, it was, it was a really okay. good season. Yeah. Uh, I have it all downloaded. Um, yeah. We can watch it. I'll give it to you and you can watch it whenever. Uh-huh. Netflix will pick up at some point soon, I imagine. Yeah. Um, but yeah. That was uh, that's the end of that one. So we need to figure out a new new show. game for next week. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we'll we'll discuss yeah. not on microphone shows that we watch because it, it's a hard. Because I was thinking about it, it's like it's a hard one because some of the it big be ones we both watch. Because um, well, not necessarily something we both watch. Like because uh, either one of us could pick episode, like just episode titles and just watch them. That like, has to be something yeah. we both enjoy watching, uh, or something you've watched and I haven't, or vice versa. But it's not just that you haven't seen it because you have to know the characters well enough to be able to denote the episode. So that's why Always Sunny is kind of a perfect one because yeah. it's a new season and I can't really think of anything else. Because um, Harry said about Scrubs, I'm like, well, I've what 
between us, we've probably. I don't think you particularly like Scrubs anyway. I can't. I can't be wrong. No, I'm not overly fast. No. Um, but we've there's a good chance that we've probably seen every episode, or at least a vast majority of yes. episodes. Yeah, that's true. Um, and then you've got things like Archer. The new season of Archer is coming soon, so yeah. we could possibly do that one. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Archer could work because I, I know it well enough. Yeah. 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 Um. But this is something we should probably discuss off mic. Yeah, that's what I mean. But it's, I just say it's it's hard to try and it is figure out. Tricky. There's yeah. a lot more to it than just finding an episode because you have yeah, to know, you have to know the I show. I need to know the show. Yeah. 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 Or if you want to do it to me, I have to know the show. Yeah. Like, yeah. So it's hard to do. But anyway, we'll end this. One. Oh, there was one actual other thing Ooh, as well. Yeah, was the on. end to the Brooklyn thing? I just need to get onto the the YouTube's to find the comment from Harry where he explained at the, uh, the yes, end of last so episode about why, why the, law, the Brooklyn law. Yeah, why is it illegal to let a donkey sleep in a bathtub? It's, it? Yeah, it's illegal to let your donkey sleep in your bathtub yeah. in Brooklyn. <laughs> it's always good when you open a YouTube app and you've got Charlie Day staring at you with kitten mittens. <laughs> Did you see the Monopoly advert? No. What's Which the Monopoly is, advert? Is your uh, is your Monopoly dog too loud? <laughs> Monopoly mittens. Monopoly mittens. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, dear. I hope they got paid some form of thing for that. I hope so, too. Uh, let's make sure that video doesn't start playing while I'm trying to read the comment. Uh, shut up. Okay, right, yeah. Right, view the comment. Okay. Go away, keyboard. I'm not trying to write anything. Right. So, um... It begins back a few years before the law was passed. Uh, before the law was passed in 1924, uh, there was a certain rancher who lived uh, near Kingman, Arizona. Uh, had a donkey that became accustomed to sleeping in an abandoned bath- bathtub on the rancher's property. Um, at that point, it's not a crime, but weird. Um, but nothing to really sort of yeah. warrant about. Uh, the problem arose when a dam broke loose and flooded the town and surrounding areas. When the flood reached the ranch's property, it took the donkey and bathtub for a ride down the wash <laughs> into a basin. The story goes that quite a, um, quite a bit of the town's resources and manpower were spent trying to rescue the donkey from the bathtub. Um, it must have made the townspeople pretty upset because not long after the event, uh, the law banning donkeys from sleeping bathtubs was passed. So, because, <laughs> because we're broken they might down, get washed away yeah, in a flood. Because they had to rescue one donkey at great expense, they wanted to make sure they never had to do it again. So, they made so it basically, illegal. one donkey ruined it. A donkey all a, the yeah. other donkeys. A donkey, like not a person, just a donkey deciding to sleep in a bathtub and then a dam breaking. Yeah. For some reason, has now made this law. That That's spe- amazing. It, for, specifically in Brooklyn as well. It's just yeah. weird. Like, it a lot of floods in Brooklyn, is Yeah, that? it didn't say it was anywhere specific. I mean, considering that says it, unless there's more than Brooklyn, I don't know. No, it said yeah. Brooklyn, New York, didn't it? It was Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. Anyway, that was just the one other thing I wanted to round up. Yeah. So Thanks for that, uh, Harry. Yeah. So this has been uh, another episode of the Non Refundable Podcast. Yep. Again, pretty much everything in here. We, we, shouldn't improve anyone's life in any way so we, we're right on message at that one yeah um, but yeah thank you very much for watching um if you do want to watch any sort of gameplay content i have a forza and long-term overwatch series going on currently jay also writes a wordpress blog yes uh, which will, the phone. that one so, wordpress.com that's it so if you want to read about a band in the very very early stages of mm-hmm. possibly being successful but suffering yeah um it's a very funny read i've read a couple of them and it's very funny thank you um and yeah uh come back to 177 same on youtube or go to 177 entertainment.com for more other stuff in the future and thanks yeah so cheers guys i'll thanks. see you in the next episode bye